greeting citizen of the free world. We are anonymous. Anonymous, the hacktivist group shrouded in secrecy, has declared war on ISIS following the attacks in Paris. This is a message to ISIS. You have reached a limit. They claim to have disabled thousands of pro-ISIS Twitter accounts. But there's another technically sophisticated group fighting an online war with ISIS. They call themselves Ghost Security Group. It's lesser known, but has a track record. Its leader is an ex-anonymous member, a man who calls himself Digita Shadow. My online name is Digita Shadow. The Islamic State is hunting for us. Uh, we receive multiple death threats daily. That's exactly the reason why we can't use our real online names. To date, I've taken out 149 Islamic State propaganda sites, uh, 110,000 social media accounts, and over 6,000 propaganda videos. CNN cannot independently verify this information. Digitas Shadow says he's one of 14 members of the secretive group, who says it's been infiltrating private ISIS communications since the Charlie Hebdo attack earlier this year. They're murdering people, persecuting their religious beliefs, expelling them from their lands. Just just appalling. Something has to be done. They have to be slowed down and stopped. Ghost Security's members say they're a global mix of ex-military, ex-counterintelligence, and IT specialists. So what makes them different from Anonymous? They share their intel with the U.S. government. They funnel potential threats and information on ISIS operatives through one man, intelligence advisor Michael Smith who then passes the info on to U.S. law enforcement officials. They use me to present information to federal authorities here in the United States. That information is sometimes shared with officials abroad. Smith says the group has actually thwarted several ISIS attacks. He cites an example in Tunisia. The group was able to identify communications concerning a plot targeting British tourists and Jews at a popular marketplace in Jerba, Tunisia. And there were more than a dozen arrests made as a result of the information that was collected by Ghost Security. I mean, more people were apprehended than at this point are known to be involved with the plot in Paris. The loss of life conceivably could have been greater than what just occurred in Paris. But even though Ghost Security says it uses hacking skills for good, it may still be operating outside the bounds of the law. It really does fall into a big gray area. Yes, is hacking illegal? Absolutely. Fighting ISIS to try to stop threats and stop their propaganda, would that be considered illegal? It, it just falls into a giant gray area. You're telling me you're working kind of 24-7 on this. Are you compensated? We are not compensated whatsoever. We're independent organizations, survival of donations only. Despite struggling to make ends meet, Digitas Shadow says they won't stop. If we were to stop now, lives would be at risk. It's not a choice. It's more of a way of life for us now. Anonymous infiltrated Ghost Security, comprised of 15 members and known as Ghost Sec. Group leader Digital Shadow, a second group control sec, are associated with Ghost Sec. Article quote, his Digital Shadow organization formed as a non-profit counter-terrorism network delivering intelligence to U.S. government agencies earlier this year, a few days after terrorists attacked the Parisian paper Charlie Hebda. Source. Scientific American article, Anonymous Cyber War with ISIS Could Compromise Terrorism Intelligence. Author, Larry Greeny Meyer. Author profile, Larry Greeny Meyer is the associate editor of Technology for Scientific American, covering a variety of tech-related topics including biotech, computers, military tech, nanotech and robots. The story, these are not my words or opinions, they are Larry Greeny Meyer's. For the time being I will offer no opinion, nor make any accusations. This video is simply to state the facts. The following is a duplication in part of Larry Greeny Meyer's article for Scientific American Anonymous Cyber War with ISIS Could Compromise Terrorism Intelligence, posted on November 19, 2015. The article in its entirety is available to read at Scientific American's website. The link is provided below. The key to successfully disrupting terrorist organizations online is to shut down their recruiting and propaganda efforts while tapping into the valuable intelligence their forums can provide. According to the executive director of Ghost Security Group, who goes by the name Digital Shadow, in order to not reveal his true identity, his organization formed as a non-profit counter-terrorism network delivering intelligence to U.S. government agencies earlier this year. Year, a few days after terrorists attacked the Parisian paper Charlie Hebda, they have gained some notoriety in recent months for their role in helping disrupt ISIS's funding efforts as well as planned attacks in New York City and Tunisia. 
goes security groups 15 members in the US, Europe and the Middle East have taken down 149 terrorism-related propaganda sites so far, Digital Shadow says. We leave Islamic-related forum or communication platforms intact for intelligence reasons, waiting for participants to make a mistake, he adds. We shut down any propaganda sites that push out videos or graphic or gory pictures because they don't have any intelligence value. Digital Shadow's organization had acted as part of Anonymous for a few months after forming but is no longer affiliated with them. They've attacked quite a few forums that had high-value Islamic State militants transmitting propaganda, trying to recruit young people and in some cases addressing weapons manufacturing and ground movements, he says. It's caused quite a disruption for intelligence. Org contends, however, that Anonymous and the hacker community in general do more good than harm, given the brutality of ISIS's attacks and its successful internet recruitment efforts. The Hacker Collective's latest rally against the terrorist organization is an acceptable risk. Right now, the harm to innocent parties that Anonymous might cause by going after the servers ISIS is using would probably be worth it, he says. In addition to the ISIS-related Twitter accounts taken down, Anonymous used hashtag Apisesis, hashtag Opiris and other Twitter threads to report on their progress and reveal names, locations and pictures of those supporting ISIS. To me, it's not surprising, it's a little overdue, Org adds. Anonymous launched a similar campaign against ISIS following its attack on Charlie Hebda, claiming to disrupt tens of thousands of Twitter accounts connected to the terrorist organization. Anonymous also claims to be spamming ISIS hashtags with Rick Rolls, messages that appear to be relevant but instead include a link to the music video for the 1987 Rick Astley hit song, Never Gonna Give You Up. Article 2. Source. CNN Money US article, The Secret Hackers Trying to Bring Down ISIS. It may have gone undetected if it weren't for a rogue hacker group called Ghost Security Group. The group, which is made up of counterintelligence officials and computer specialists, had been monitoring the Twitter account for a month. While the Under the Radar account only had a handful of followers, many of them were high-profile ISIS members. The hacktivist group immediately looked for intelligence contractors who could relay the info to the authorities. They found terrorist analyst Michael S. Smith who through Twitter. Smith, who works at defense consulting firm Kronos Advisory, serves as a counterterrorism advisor to members of Congress and was responsive to Ghost Security. He became the group's conduit to authorities. According to Smith, investigators used Ghost Security's info to identify a target site, who they were targeting and how they would execute the attack. The investigation ended with the arrest of more than a dozen terror suspects. Smith said, without a doubt this group has saved lives, at least into the dozens, Smith told CNN Money. There are people working in the national security community in the United States, Europe, the Middle East, who will never be credited with that. FBI Director James Comey has repeatedly said that ISIS' use of social media is unprecedented in terms of how aggressively it engages with people in the West. Its members are essentially overwhelming the system, Smith said, which means there's room for outside support from groups like Global Security. But in order for these groups to be effective, they have to coordinate with those who have the mandates to find, finish and fix the enemy, said Smith. The FBI would not comment on Ghost Security's involvement in digitally tracking terrorists. Ghost Security differentiates itself from the vast and often disjointed hacktivist collective Anonymous, which has also declared war on ISIS and claims to have taken down pro-ISIS Twitter accounts. A handful of members were previously part of Anonymous, including one of the leaders, who goes by the name Digital Shadow. He says Ghost Security is small and more focused. We have structure and leadership, he told CNN Money. We also have a lot of counter-terrorism experience. We have translators, linguists, research analysts on hand to analyze all the data that we receive. Digital Shadow has taken on the role of executive director and helps organize and assign tasks to the 14 members of Ghost Security who are scattered around the world. He also provides electronic equipment for the group. Ghost Security also works with another group, Control Sec, which helps monitor the social media of terrorists. Ghost Security was formed following the Charlie Hebda attacks in Paris last January. Digital Shadow said it's a full-time job for the members who are scattered around the world. Even though they're just volunteers, they work an average of 16 hours a day. We realized for the first time, you could be attacked in the streets of Paris and attacked in your hometown in America, Digital Shadow said. Everybody could become a victim, so we wanted to do what we could to help slow them down. Related, terrorists hide plans by going dark. Digital Shadow says Ghost Security has taken down 149 Islamic State propaganda sites, 110,000 social media accounts, and over 6,000 propaganda videos since it formed. 
Following the most recent attacks in Paris, the crew is trying to gather intelligence on the attackers' digital footprints and identify social media accounts involved in the attacks. CNN could not independently confirm this information. Ghost Security claims to have created automated software that identifies ISIS social media accounts. Digital Shadow says the collective has also infiltrated private ISIS communications, taken over ISIS social media accounts and pulled IP information to help identify and locate ISIS members.